With more than 130 years experience, Brothaus is the oldest manufacturer of semi-trailers for special transport and of container chassis. We produced our first multifunctional container chassis, the MFCC, in 1983 due to the standardization and efficiency in shipping containers. The Brothaus multifunctional container chassis is the optimum solution for transporting all kinds of shipping containers. All our container chassis are completely built only in the Dutch Brothaus facility. We would like to show you how we do it. First, the beam assembly is done in the welding stage. The beam is welded by a welding robot, which means an increase of the strength of the center beam. Besides, they weld main chassis parts separately. They assemble the chassis in a mold, where the beams and separate parts are welded together to build the frame of the chassis. Next, they turn the chassis over for transporting to the 250 meters long, newly invested in paint shop. Once the trailer goes into the paint shop, it can never return to the welding stage. The trailer proceeds suspended through the entire paint system. In this way, paint can be applied to every part. All sides can be treated easily. Besides, the employees are working on a wall man, which is safe for our colleagues, and in this way, the body sprayer can apply the right rust-proofing treatment to the trailer. Unique at this painting street is the metallization part. In this part, a metal layer will be burned in the chassis. This means the chassis will never rust. Once the trailer comes out of the painting street, it will be turned and moved by small wheels to the end fitting department. All parts are prepared separately and comes together at this point. Now the chassis is transported to the first end fitting stage. This happens in the safest way, because at Pross House, safety is top priority. First, the end fitter will put all the signs and stickers on the chassis, because when the trailer is extended, it's easy and safe to fit. When all the markers are placed, the chassis will be closed. He fits the twist locks and places the chassis in two turning supports for better accessibility. Then the extendable tubing will be mounted together with the air and electrical support lines. At this point, the chassis will be transported to the second end fitting stage. In step two, the worker mounts first all the air hoses. To place the axles into their position, a rolled crane will help people onto the working floor. The axles need to be aligned so the trailer will drive straight on the road. Two workers align the axles with laser equipment. Next, the chassis is transported to the third end fitting stage. In this part, the air tanks and connections will be fitted to the airlines. The bottom side is ready now and the trailer will be turned back to the normal position. Now it's time to put the wheels on the trailer. Next, the worker secures them with the right force. Now the trailer looks like a real container chassis. The finishing touches can start by placing the mud guards and the separately made light bumper. Two workers install the light bumper. Now the trailer is ready, it will be moved to the test stage. Next, a worker connects the power lines and checks all the lights. 
The last step is a final control inspection by a person who was not involved in the production stages. This end controller will check everything again. Now the trailer is ready to get handed over to his satisfied customer.